Hi students, this is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian for English speakers. And I think it's time for jokes because I promised you that I bought a book and I would read jokes from that book to you in order for you to learn some Latvian. And I haven't done that for a while, so this is the time, I think. And I have picked a simple joke from this book that I mentioned and this is going to be a joke from life and I need to give you some preliminary knowledge so that you understand the joke. It is going to be about Latvian school culture. In Latvia it used to be required that all students have student logs which are like little planners where students had to write every lesson for the day in that planner and in Latvia it's different than it is here at least for my son in the USA where he has the same classes every day at the same time but in Latvia students had different classes every day and sometimes they finished earlier sometimes later and you always had to know which class to go to and that's why students needed those student logs or planners also the planners were used for teachers to put grades for students next to that specific lesson and also to write notes for parents and at the end of every week the teacher signed the planner so that he or she saw that the student hadn't altered anything in their student log and students were supposed to show the student's log to their parents at home and parents also had to sign before students went to school on Monday. So that's the student's log or student's planner. So this is going to be a note from a student's planner that a teacher wrote and it goes like this. Ķīmija stundā saka priekšā nepareizi. Ķīmija stundā means during the chemistry lesson. Saka priekšā literally means says in front and I picked this joke because I have the word saka which I talked about last time. Remember I taught you the word pasaka which means a fairy tale or a story and then we removed the first letter p and we got the word asaka which means a fish bone and then we removed the first letter and we got the word saka which means says or is saying. So we have this word again in this sentence. Tīmies stundā saka priekšā nepareizi. Saka priekšā means says in front if we translate it literally, but what it really means is prompts. And nepareizi means incorrectly. Therefore, this sentence means during the chemistry lessons he or she prompts incorrectly. And this is how I imagine what actually happened during that chemistry lesson. The teacher probably asked somebody to go to the board in order to solve a chemistry problem so that the others can watch and learn from the process. But the student who was writing on the board probably didn't know how to do it. So somebody from the remaining students in the classroom prompted incorrectly. The funny part is that from this note it sounds like the teacher doesn't mind that the clues were given but that clues that were given were incorrect. So once more the sentence was Ķīmijas stundā saka priekšā nepareizi. Nepareizi means incorrectly, saka priekšā prompts or gives clues. We don't have the subject in the sentence because in Latvian sentences subjects can be implied and ķīmijas stundā means during the chemistry lesson. The long letter A at the end of the word stunda means that it was during that chemistry class 
And that's my little lesson for today. I teach things like this in my course Latvian for English speakers. I teach about how sentences are constructed. So if you are interested, check out my webpage. But now I say, Ata, bye bye, till the next time.